So anything to keep you comfortable, any position sitting down where you're comfortable, you could place something on your back and sit back against your chair or against a wall. It's good to take your time. And if you need to move during the during the exercise, during the session, that's okay. It's you don't have to be rigid about it. Just you can just move as your body needs to. Perfect. So let your body settle in. You can close your eyes to remove the external or minimize the external distractions. But if you prefer, you can also do eyes half open, half closed, just gazing down. Sometimes that's helpful because when you close your eyes, sometimes you get too sleepy. So you can try both techniques. I feel as if you're entering this meditation space. So everything is quiet and perfect now for you to meditate. And you don't have to think of meditation as something rigid or somewhere where you need to concentrate really, really hard. Think of it more as a place where you can begin to relax your body and relax your mind, where you don't need to be disturbed by all those thoughts that and emotions that come and go throughout the day. It's like a little rest or a little holiday. Anchor yourself in your breath. So just find your normal breathing, just a natural breath. You don't need to change the way you're breathing, just notice it, observe, and be aware. Try to notice the very small, subtle movements of your belly and your chest. Sometimes we breathe more from the chest. When we're relaxed, more often than not, we breathe with the belly very relaxed, expanding as we inhale, relaxing, gently contracting as we exhale. So see if you can notice those very small movements of the natural breath. So again, we're not changing anything yet. We're just being aware of this breath, just the normal natural breath.
Now feel that the breath is coming from your heart, from your heart center. Not in front of your chest, but more backwards towards the spine. And start to recite the mantra OM in your mind. Repeating the mantra OM in your mind, resonating at the heart. Now drop your attention lower down into your belly. Feel that you're breathing through the belly. Notice the movements of the belly. And you begin to guide that breath so you make it longer. Expand your belly so you, this time you're using your diaphragm as you breathe. Expand your belly as you inhale. Contract the belly as you exhale. Do that for a few breaths, a few minutes. And just really try to enjoy each breath. Each breath is different. Feel like it's a nourishing breath and it's nourishing you all the way down into your navel chakra. Your navel chakra feeds all of the chakras, feeds all of the energy system. So really feel free to breathe very deeply. Now begin to add ujjayi breath, so you bring your chin in just slightly, contract the throat halfway, and make this loud beautiful sound of the ocean as the air passes in and out. So you make the sound both ways, both on the in-breath and the out-breath. Sounds like the ocean waves or sounds like somebody snoring, gently snoring.
this breath starts to create heat for all of the energy channels. So you can think of it as a nice cleansing breath. As you focus on the sound, it allows you to relax deeper. If your concentration is good, imagine that the prana is moving from the base of the spine to the top of the head as you inhale and the top of the head to the base of the spine as you exhale. We're still on that Ujjayi breathing. All we're doing is we're adding the visualization. Energy is moving, rising from the base of the spine to the top of the head as you inhale and descending from the top of the head all the way down to the base of the spine as you exhale. Sometimes you can feel where at the at the where in the spine your breath or this flow of energy gets blocked. Not sometimes, not always. Just notice it and keep working on the breath. Visualize it as light moving up and down the spine. Keep working on your breath. That's good.
You're breathing in life. You're breathing in more prana into the body. Each time you breathe. You're clearing all of those energy channels with your breath and with your concentration, with your intention. The more you feel relaxed and open to the practice, the more you can feel something. And that's divine working in, in you. So start to go back to your normal breath now. Go back to our normal breathing. So you've been sitting for a while. If you need to change your legs or move very gently, So we'll continue with Anulom Vilom Pranayam. The other word for that is Nadi Shodana or alternate nostril breathing. Respiration alternate. So you take your second and third fingers, place it on the third eye. That's it, you remember. Close the right nostril with your thumb and breathe in through the left nostril. Close the left nostril and exhale, right nostril. Inhale, right. Close right and exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close right, exhale, left. Continue doing that at your own pace, breath long and deep. Very balancing breath. If you get lost, don't panic, you can start again or just go back to deep, long breathing.
Keep going for a few more rounds. So on the next exhale through the left nostril, release the pranayama and you can relax your hand down. Good. As we go back to the normal breath, just focus on the third eye center, the Ajna Chakra. Visualize light, beautiful light at the edge of the chakra, but don't think of it as in front or on your on on your on your face, but inside the skull. So at the level of the forehead, but more inside of your head. Where where the spine would be if it was extended all the way to the top. So center of the head. It's like a light bulb in your brain. Invite divine wisdom into your life. Sometimes when we're confused or overwhelmed, we just have to let go of the thinking mind and just allow divine wisdom to embrace us. You don't have to do anything special, you just have to be available. Dedicate the last few minutes for the situation in the whole world, especially for those affected by COVID-19. COVID 